So this question says, in the standard xy coordinate plane, the point 2 comma 1. Okay, I'm going to pause and draw an xy coordinate plane. And I'm going to label or graph in here my point 2 comma 1. Right, so this is the idea of a strategy I call plug-in picture. And all that is um, telling you is anytime a question describes something that can be drawn, it's probably best to draw. It doesn't always, it's not always best, but as a habit, you know, eight out of 10 times is going to be a good idea to draw it. So we're told that this point two comma one is the midpoint. So MP equals two comma one. Then we're told point C has coordinates six, eight. So let's find that. So three, four, five, six, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we are here, roughly, for point C. And what are the coordinates of point D? Well, again, if this is the midpoint here, then right, D must be over here somewhere. Okay. So I'm going to use that visual to help me um, cross out some answers here. Given that D is in quadrant 3, where the X and Y values must be negative, H, J, and K are immediately crossed out. Okay. Now, I'm going to use a method, a shortcut to figuring out exactly what point D is. I'm going to use slope. All right, so you could use the midpoint formula, and I'll write that down just so you have it. I'll write it down in red here. So the midpoint formula is that the average of the x values should be equal to the x value of the midpoint, so in this case 2, and the average of the y values from the endpoints. Right, So I missed, I missed saying that previously. These x values come from C and D, right? So the average. So the average of the y values from point C and D, so that divided by 2, is equal to the y value of the midpoint, so equals 1. So we can plug some things in, right? Because we do know, right? We do know that x1 equals 6 and y1 equals 8. We get that from point C. So we can plug that in and figure out the answer. But a faster way is to use the slope, right? So the slope from the midpoint is I'm going up, I'm rising seven units, and I'm running right from two to six, or I'm running four units to get from the midpoint up to point C. So I should have to do the exact same slope in the opposite direction to get to D, right? So I'm gonna fall or go down seven units, which takes me from positive one to negative six for my Y value, and run over four, which takes me to negative two for my X value, which means my answer should be, or must be, negative 2, comma, negative 6.